In this video, we are going to see how to test a transformer differential relay using SMRT test kit. There is an inbuilt automated module to test transformer differential relays. I have connected uh, six CTs, three for HV and three for LV from this SMRT46 to a MyCom P643 relay. I have also connected the feedback, the output contact of the relay to this test kit and the test kit is communicated using RTMS software. So let's see how to configure this. This is the advanced menu tab. So click on this tab to access the transformers differential function, the automated feature. So click on this blue tab to configure the settings. So once you click on the blue tab, you get a screen like this. So here we need to enter the values to match the relay settings. So let's see how to match the relay settings. Under system configuration, I will be able to get the transformers winding details, HV, LV, TV. The HV connection is YY, 220 kV, 100 MVA. So it's matching here, 220 kV, 100 MVA. The LV vector group is Y, grounded, 66 kV. So 66 kV. So now let me move on to the CT ratio. CT and VT ratio. So below that, I get my VT information. So CT, T1, 400 bar 1 amps. And for T2, it's 1000 bar 1 amps. And my vector group is YN, YN0, as seen earlier. So now below this line, I need to configure the transformer settings. So let me navigate to the transformer differential settings. Okay, differential protection. The pickup is 0.2, so here I have entered 0.2 per unit. K1, slope 1 is 30%, that's entered here. 1 per unit is the break point, and slope 2 is 80%. And the characteristics equation is I1 plus I2 by 2. And now we need to enter the second harmonic and fifth harmonic settings. So 20% is a second harmonic which is entered here and the fifth harmonic is entered as uh, 35%. So this is the nth harmonic settings which is configured for fifth harmonic. So once this is completed, I will put a tick mark and then I navigate to the main screen where I have a list of tests like stabilization test, timing, pickup, characteristics second harmonic block, nth harmonic and characteristics short test. So let's see one by one. So let's open the differential screen. So in this button, you have the advanced differential menu. Click on the advanced differential menu and click on this blue tab to configure the relay. So the relay is currently configured for uh, 220 kV bar 66 kV, 100 MVA. 400 bar 1 amp CT in HV, 1000 bar 1 amp CT in LV and the vector group is Y and D11. So it's the same settings which we adopted earlier. So let me just verify the vector group alone. System configurations. HV, Y connection, grounded, 220 kV, 100 MVA and LV is 11 o'clock position and delta connection. So once this is done, let me put a tick mark. So I have the list of tests that's going to be executed. So let's start with stabilization test. So I'm going to play everything in a single shot using this double arrow mark, run all tests. So let me start with the stabilization test. I'm going to run all the tests, run all differential tests. So to do this, I need to select multiple points in the characteristics. So I have selected random points in the characteristics test and in the characteristic short test, I need to 
select multiple points. So now all are configured. So let me move on to the stabilization test and run all differential test. So we can see that the relay has not tripped, which confirms the relay is stable. So once I click about, it moves to the next timing test. followed by the pickup test for both the windings. So in single phase pickup, we have a correction factor which is automatically uh, configured in the blue screen in the initial stage. So based on that, the delta side will be corrected. So it's going to repeat in winding two, single phase. The pickup test is done. Now based on the points that we selected earlier, the characteristics test is being conducted. We just cleared the LED for us to verify the trip signal. So now the second harmonic block test is being conducted.
So, we are repeating in winding 2. The last three phase test for second harmonic. Next is the fifth harmonic test. Fifth harmonic test for winding two. So these points were selected randomly in the beginning. You can select any point that you want. So that completes the complete differential testing and we can see the overall result here. The configuration of Y and D11, 100 MVA, 220 bar 66 kV with the relay settings 30% and 80% as slope 1 and slope 2 settings. The stabilization test, timing, pickup, characteristics, second harmonic block, fifth harmonic short test, and the final short test, characteristics short test. So you can see there is no need for any human intervention. The moment we enter the settings and match it with the relay, the next 15 minutes, your transformer differential relay is 100% completed.